everyone, Rarity Dash here, and we're back for fan mail unboxing number two. Going to be opening up the second wave of items sent into my P.O. box today, and take a look at what I got. And if you want to send something in, feel free. The P.O. box address is listed in the description below of this video, and basically every video that I put out these days. You can find that address, send stuff there, and I'll receive it, and I'll eventually open it up on a video much like this one. But uh, for now, we got a big box of stuff sent in by... A few of you guys, and uh, I'm very interested to see what's inside. Much bigger box than last time, you might notice. And uh, though I, don't, I think it's actually, I don't know, I think it's like four people. So uh, I don't know, I guess you guys just sent me bigger stuff. Uh, also, the packaging there. I don't know if my uh, intermediary service is just kind of using cheap packaging or post office just sucks, but not really the best of shape there. Not really presentable for the YouTube exactly, but uh, should be. Hopefully you guys didn't send me anything too fragile or anything. Otherwise it should be fine. Okay, so we got a box full of bubble wrap and other boxes. Oh. We got something from Toshiro, Toshiro Nico. Read this after the rest. I should show that. So I'll be waiting on that. We got small packages. This is unmarked, but I think this is from I think this is from uh, Equestron because I I know he said he sent some, sent me something. So I think. Well, I shouldn't show his address. I'll have to blur that. Uh, <laughs> don't want to send it, show anyone's mailing address. Um, but um, I don't mind if you see my address. I mean, that just saves you the trouble of uh, having to look in the description. But um, I'll blur his address. And then I got something from uh, Caboose Mali on the Discord, which I'm probably not going to be able to show that because uh, he kind of told me about that. So maybe there's something in there I can show, but otherwise I probably won't want to. This is, I don't know, there's some stuff. I think that's more of what Toshiro sent me. All these bubble wrap things are from Toshiro, I think. He sent me a big pack, big package. So, uh, oh, kind of see what one of those items might be. And then there's this hat, which is from Heckman. From our friend Heckman on the Discord and YouTube site, and uh, it's a ruby hat. So we'll start with this. It's pretty nice. Uh, ruby snapback. Uh, the only problem is, I mean, I already have a ruby hat, so I don't know when I'm gonna wear this. My default hat is a ruby hat, and um, let me see how it fits. I don't know. Caps are kind of. I mean, I, I like the look of them. I think I look good in them, but uh, yeah, this one fits okay. But you, caps often, I mean, they're not the best fit for me. I guess I have a big head or something. But uh, even that regular show, the excellent hat, it uh, it's kind of small. <laughs> I don't know. This one's better. But uh, and also when I wear them on camera, they kind of. Uh, obscure my eyes. This one might not have as much a problem since it's not like a trucker hat. It's like a snapback with a flat, with a flat uh, uh, brim. So maybe it'd be better. But uh, well, this is from Hot Topic, I guess. That's where he bought it, I, I suppose. But um, yeah, because my default hat already is a ruby hat, I'm just I'm not sure when I'll be wearing this. But it's a very nice hat. I mean, I like the the. Uh, embroidering, I guess, and it's still got the, it still has the, the Yang and Blake symbols, they're just on the side, <laughs> maybe I could wear it to the side, uh, no, that would be weird and wrong, um, but, uh, we'll see, I mean, it's a nice hat, so thank you for that, Heckman, I appreciate it, uh, now what do I want to do next? Uh, since I'm not going to be able to show much of the, oh, I don't want to show anyone else's address. This thing from O'Malley I'll open up next. See if there's anything in here I can show. Make a few 
he has a letter. And if there's anything in the letter I want to read. Either way, uh, thank you, O'Malley, for the thought of sending me something. I, uh, I appreciate it. I'll uh, get back to you on that part of it. And there is a letter, but I don't know. I'll have to look over the contents real quick. Yeah, not really something I'm going to be able to share, unfortunately. So we'll move on. Uh, and that's kind of a shame because there's, there's... But at least uh, one person sent me a lot of stuff. So we'll move on to uh, this thing that I think is from a Plestron. Uh, next, this package here, which uh, I think that label's fine to show. I mean, that's and just my address again. Uh, where's my knife? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah. Let's open this. Uh, I'm probably just cut into it as well as that way is. I think I'll hurt it. Was it a game? I'm not really sure how I feel about you guys sending me games and stuff, but uh, we'll see. Oh, okay. So I don't really have a ton of time to play. Uh, I, I can't stream more games. So, um, I, I, sending me a game, I appreciate the thought a lot, but uh, there's no guarantee I'm actually going to be able to play it on the channel. That's the thing. I just don't think sending me a game means you're going to see me on, see it on the channel because uh, I have to prioritize the games that I actually, you know, want to play. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Didn't play the first one, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try. Looks kind of cool. Um, yeah. Might be my thing. I don't know. And it's, it comes with a letter here. From, and, uh, yes, this is from a cluster. To confirm. So I'll read this one. This one I think should be fine to read. If not, I'll cut this out. But uh, unlike O'Malley's thing, I think I should be fine here. This is a quest run. If you were wondering why I asked you on Twitter if there were any games you were planning on buying in the future, this is the reason as to why. I debated whether or not to get you this or the Bayonetta double pack, but since it seems that you enjoy JRPGs more than character action games, I figured this would be the better option. So I present to you Xenoblade Chronicles 2. No, you don't have to have played the first game to understand this. It's a self-contained story. This is one of the best games I've played on the Switch, and as of this writing, I'm still playing it. It could change by the time you get this letter, as I'm pretty close to the end. This is a massive epic with great characters, over-the-top action in the cutscenes, and an awesome score. It even has some... <laughs> It even has the custom difficulty settings, so you can make the game easier in some places, harder in others, or just put everything in either extreme. It's also got waifus. Well, <laughs> you know what I like. Um, I know you like waifus. <laughs> That's the, literally the next line. So this has waifus for days. It's, it's, got, it, it's got Scottish military waifus, Sundari waifus. I realized I wasn't holding it up anymore. Welsh cat girl waifus. I'm intrigued. Robot waifus. If nothing else, you'll enjoy this aspect. <laughs> I also recommend playing this with the English dub. Well, the playing this with the English dub. Well, the dub is not the greatest for a couple characters. I found that playing in Japanese with English subtitles is pretty problematic, as it uses dub titles rather than accurately following the Japanese script. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. That's kind of weird. If you don't play this immediately upon getting it, there's no hard feelings, as I know you have a few games in your library. Consider it a very late birthday present, or even a very early Christmas present. <laughs> well, this is really early. Or, yeah, really early Christmas present, but my birthday uh, was just a couple months ago, so I think that's, <laughs> that's a little closer. Um, either way, it's yours now, and you're free to do whatever with it. I just hope 
that when you play it, you enjoy it as much as I have. Have fun, Equestron. React to everything <laughs> right wrong. With, I'm just kidding. This wasn't some kind of bribe, I swear. Now, we'll get another right wrong uh, in the future pretty soon. Or was it? And uh, nice picture of his character. Uh, low on printer ink fail. Was it supposed to be in color or something? Because it's definitely not the right color. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, thank you for that, Eclipse I appreciate it. As said, I can't promise I'll be streaming this, but uh, I don't know. I've been getting used to playing, uh, I mean, playing uh, Fire Emblem Echoes in my spare time now, and I'm not streaming that. So I'm getting used to playing games that I'm not streaming again. So maybe this will be the next one of those. Because um, there's just not really anywhere to fit it in the schedule. I, um, I don't know. I can keep you updated. If I do play it, I can keep you updated on what I think of it, but, uh, I, yeah, I just, I, I, I'm kind of locked into what I have now. But uh, anyway, on to, uh, Toshiro's stuff. Uh, this is from Toshiro Nico, who, uh, longtime supporter on Patreon and the Discord on everywhere, pretty much. Um, actually, like, going way back, I remember his comments on YouTube. So, uh, he sent me, like, three bubble-wrapped things and a note. So, he says to, uh, read the note after the other stuff. And I see this star. So, uh, not really a fan of Funko Pops, but, uh, and <laughs> the packaging's kind of messed up. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think you meant to send it in this state. That's probably... The result of either uh, my intermediary not being as good as I would have hoped, or the U.S. the U.S. Postal Service kind of uh, screwing up. But we got a Star Butterfly Funko Pop, the first Funko Pop I own, actually. Also, just looking at the package, we got Star, Marco, Tom, and Ludo really would have <laughs> really kind of wish they had a Hecapoo at least. I mean, I, I would display a Hecapoo Funko Pop proudly. The star. Ooh, star is cool. I like Star. This is a Funko Pop. First time I've actually held one in my hands. And they're just as weirdly shapen as I've seen with their weird bread box shaped heads. I, um, dead black eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really get it. I mean, I like my Nindoroids. I think they're awesome, as you can see over there. So that's how you do cute chibi figures right, I think. This, not so much. But people go crazy for them. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's just, I don't get the face. Why is it better to look like that and not like the actual character? <laughs> I should probably lower the camera now that the big box is out of the way. Probably should have done that earlier. But uh, I mean, it's not like I had like display items so far. We had a game and a letter and a hat. Stuff I could easily hold up to the camera. Now, this is already looking like something more interesting. Though, this already does come of a problem, because someone... Uh, wasn't it Jugio? -Oh? Someone said they were sending me some Amiibos. But uh, here is an Amiibo Lucina. Um, so, yeah. That's well, a Japanese one. I mean, I don't know if they're all... Uh, I assume some of them have... English packaging. Maybe Lucina does it. She Japanese exclusive or something? I don't know, but she's, uh... So now, I, uh, this is another thing I've never actually owned, an Amiibo. I never quite got it before. Uh, what they're all about. But, uh, now I have one. And I can take a look. And it's a pretty nice little figure. The sculpting is really pretty cool. Lucina, I mean, it's kind of dark. The lighting... But, uh, you can 
almost see her face. I think you can see it there. Looking pretty hot. Um, yeah, it's an interesting small little figure uh, with uh, some pretty cool sculpting. But really nice. When I looked at it close through my own eyes, I can definitely see a lot of detail there. I mean, look at the crown and the just everything. The sword. Now, these are cool. But they're tiny. I mean, compared to like my... Uh, I'll grab a Figma. The wrong show is... Uh, see, compared to a Figma, it's just <laughs> a lot smaller than what I'm used to. So, um, yeah. But uh, now I have a Lucina. There is a Lucina Figma, but I never got it. I don't know why. I wasn't as active in my collection back then, I guess, when it came out. Um, but, uh, yeah, cool figure, and apparently it does stuff in games when you, like, I don't know, it's got, like, a chip in it or something. Uh, I don't really know how it works, but... Uh, Cool. Even further, because they're small. We got Lucy on Star. Camera doesn't want to go down further than that. Oh, that's fine. What do we have next here? More figures. Okay. Well, this is fun. It's a rarity. Gotta love a rarity. Well, I do already have a rarity, but hopefully it's not <laughs> the same one. I do have a, actually, can grab that right now. Um, my hair is kind of messed up, but uh, she's a little dirty, and not in any kind of weird way, so you think it's literal dirt. Which isn't good for rarity, but uh, clean her up a little. I guess it's more dust than anything, but because uh, I don't really move her much. But um, yeah, as I said, I have a little rarity, so I don't know if this is the same one. We'll see. Um, Really covering all our bases here, though. Now, let's get a different pose already. I notice. Yeah, cuter open mouth expression. It's a similar size to the other rarity. Same scale, but uh, different. Different pose. Different. Uh, I mean, even the shape of the head is a little bit different. This one's a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger and rounder. So I don't know. I'm not really sure what that's all about. But uh, now I have two rarities. So of the, well, I've more than two. I also have the, um, the big uh, vinyl one. And I have an Equestria Girls, and of course I have the plushes. So I have a lot of rarities. But now I have two actual brushable rarities, I guess is what they call them. The brushables. So, oh, and there was another thing. What was that? Uh, there was another thing in that same package. Oh, I see what you did. <laughs> you packaged the rare in the same bubble wrap, put a rarity and a rainbow dash. I, I appreciate that so much. Toshiro, that's pretty cool. Um, and I didn't have a Rainbow Dash brush, so, um, this is completely new. Get her out of her plastic prison, and get that Rainbow Mane. What's the problem with the brushables, though? The mains just don't really look right. I mean, uh, I guess you could brush it so that it kind of looks right, but it's, you'd have to cut it, really, for Rainbow Dash. I mean, that would 
long beauty <laughs> beauty mane flowing down. Not very Rainbow Dash, but uh, I mean otherwise. And I uh, just the look of the character too. I mean, I, I, the face. Does she even have the cutie mark? Oh, it's only on one side. That's weird. But uh, yeah, now we can have these three go off and have fun together. <laughs> you get to share the two rarities there, and the. Um, okay, anyway, last bundle of bubble wrap here. Toshiro, you really went all out, <laughs> my friend. I, I definitely, definitely appreciate that. Oh, God. What do we have here? What, what is all? Oh, okay, did you buy me full anime series? Um... Okay. <laughs> you bought me, um, I don't know if you, you're just, are you dumping old stuff you already had off on me? <laughs> Here's a copy of Ashens and the Quest for the Game Child, which I do appreciate. I didn't, I didn't have it on DVD. Uh, I mean, it's, I guess it's no longer freely available online. So, I mean, maybe it pays to have a copy of it. But, uh, good film. If you haven't seen it, it's Ashens. YouTube, YouTube's own Ashens. Uh, who is my favorite YouTuber on, uh, in his movie debut. Uh, and it's, <laughs> it's fun. It's just a weird YouTuber movie, but, uh, it's fun. And I'm glad that he's making a sequel, uh, coming up. So that's good. Um, oh, Jinky Extend. I've actually already seen this and it's kind of... I mean, I don't remember really liking it much when it came... I mean, I thought it was... I shouldn't say that. I think I... I thought it was kind of average. But that was, like... When did this come out? Yeah, 2007. <laughs> or no, 2004. Yeah, the DVD came out in 2007. It's a 2004 anime. I probably saw it in 2007, though. So, ten years ago, I wasn't that impressed by this. It might, my tastes have changed since then. I might like it more. Um, so, I think I'll, I'm willing to give it another shot. I mean, I don't know where you got this. It's not open, so... And you gave me this whole series. Um, yeah, it's something I'm definitely willing to revisit. Uh, I mean, it looks definitely like something I should enjoy, just by the box art. <laughs> um... I don't know. Yeah, I, I... One of those things. Maybe at the time, I just wasn't ready for it. But now I think it's the best thing ever. Um, yeah. What else we got? Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of Heaven's Lost property, I see. This is the movie. Um, which this is... You, uh... One of your first... Patreon request wasn't to like the oh no that was something else right I don't know yeah that was a different series I don't this one I've heard of this I don't know much about it though Heaven's Lost Property this one I haven't seen um but here's the Blu-ray of the film and it looks like I got the whole series too so uh god <laughs> Look at that. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. That's the cover. I mean, it looks nice from the cover. Lots of, uh, lots of potential waifus there. I think I like this one. Um, I don't know much about this series. It's, uh, yeah. Got some interesting box art, though. Oh. <laughs> That's fun. We got... Oh, wow. That's uh, worth seeing, I guess. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. I don't know if I even should show that one. Uh, this one's bad enough. That one's like... She's basically nude. YouTube's not ready for that. 
mean, it's probably fine because it's not that you don't see any of the good pit parts, but uh, okay. And yeah, this looks a little, little risque. Oh. But I just noticed. I just know that. That's nice. Oh. Should look at them before I turn over. That's not bad. It's it's uh I mean it's pretty bad. <laughs> so this is like some serious etchy stuff. Um <laughs> what are you sending me? Um I mean that's good with me, I guess. I just I'm yeah, maybe I don't really typically watch a lot of anime on DVD, but I just I did notice that this this one is not a DVD. This one from the box set is not. There's something else in here. So let's take a look at that. Okay. Oh wow, we got some nice. Uh, what do you what do you call them? Um, art prints. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> well, I already showed that, so it's too late, but they are basically nude there. Um, well, that's cute, and not so, uh, lewd as, oh, God. <laughs> um, well, this is interesting. This is going to be an interesting unboxing to put up on, on the YouTube. Um... I don't know, I'll have to look into the series. Maybe it's something I'll react to. I, I, so Etchy, I mean, it seems like something I'd be really into, but oftentimes not so much as you would think. I mean, it can be a bit too much, especially if it's like all harem Etchy. That rarely does it for me, actually. I mean, it does for me on a very base surface level because, I mean, they're hot, but uh, I don't know. It's just not really what I'm all about. Um, anyway, let's move on to Toshiro's note next. Oops. Don't want to rip it, but there is tape on it. Okay, good. That's fine. There can be a little bit of bubble tape sticking to it. Okay, and this is, yes, from Toshiro Nico, and it's a, it's a nice handwritten letter. We have, uh... Hey Rarity Dash, so in this box I included some stuff I thought you might like. The MLB toys I wasn't sure if you had already. The anime Jinky Extend is a mecha anime with Yuri elements. Um, yeah, I really need to revisit that. I don't... I mean, obviously from the box art, <laughs> there would be Yuri elements. Uh, I don't know. Sure, I've seen that, but I, I guess I just... Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely worth a rewatch just to see what uh, what it's all about. Sora no Otoshima. No, Otoshimina. Sora no Otoshimono, Heaven's Lost Property, is one of my favorites, and I wouldn't mind seeing a reaction to it. Wink, wink. But seriously, it's very etchy and about a guy who finds a robot angel maid that can grant his wishes. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it starts off funny, all but... And all but the story gets more serious over time. I put both seasons and the movie in here. The movie is missing the regular DVD and is just the Blu-ray. Okay, well, that's what I would prefer to watch anyway. And since Ashens was partly how I saw you doing these videos, I put in his movie. <laughs> and I guess the only thing left are the Lucina Amiibo and Star Pop figure. Lucina is the Japanese version, though it doesn't matter, because uh, at the time, I couldn't find a USA version. There is a butterfly mode Star Pop I was wanting to... Wanting to send, but that is a Hot Topic exclusive, and there isn't one near here. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Right. Hope you enjoy what you get, what you got, and looking forward to your reactions. Wink, wink. B.S. You should add 
Rise of the Guardians to your movie full. We'll definitely consider that part. That part, definitely. As for reactions, um, again, same thing with the game. You can't, if you send me a series, don't uh, expect that I'll for sure end up reacting to it. Uh, I mean, I'll definitely read it, read up on it, and consider it. It does, the, <laughs> the art I've seen does uh, kind of make it look pretty nice. I like the art style, and the characters look pretty cute. But, um, yeah, just, I got a, a lot of anime that I really want to see. And the thing is, <laughs> I kind of prefer, a, I kind of prefer picking the stuff that uh, most appeals to me. But, uh, I mean, now that I own it, maybe I'll think about it a little bit harder. And that is very, very kind of you. And uh, I definitely appreciate it. And this, since I have already seen it, this I will just rewatch on my own time. And God damn it. <laughs> Can't go without hitting the camera at least once in an unboxing. Um, but yeah, these I will definitely rewatch on my own time. Uh, see if I have different thoughts about these about this series 10 years, 12 years later uh, than I did at the time. Uh, which I imagine I will. I think this is going to be much more my thing now than it was back then. Uh, I don't know. I don't really remember what I, why it didn't impress me. Uh, and I did keep watching it, if I recall. So maybe it, maybe I just my memory's wrong, and I did like it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't really stand out. I mean, I don't know. That's a weird thing. But uh, also, the rarity and the rainbow are appreciated. They're very nice. And um, this, this isn't Hecapoo. <laughs> there probably isn't one. Um, and it's a Funko Pop, but uh, I appreciate the thought. And... Uh, I guess now I own one of these. And also one of these. And this is a lot cooler to me. This is nice. This is Lucina. Uh, I think I'm going to have two of her pretty soon. But uh, that's fine. I can have two Lucinas uh, to go with my two rarities, I guess. Um, yeah. But um, good stuff. And uh, thank you to everyone else. Thank you, Heckman, for the hat. And thank you... O'Malley for what you sent me, and uh, thank you, of course, Equestron for the game, which I'll probably play that as well, though again, most likely not on stream. Um, anyway, that's enough for this time. If you want to send me something again, the, the address is in the description below, and I, saw, I showed it earlier in the video, if you prefer, if you don't really, if you're on a device where you can't really see the description, you can see it when I showed it earlier. Uh, which I guess I can show that again if I have the envelope still. Um, yeah, Questron's envelope nicely had it all on the inside, but <laughs> just send stuff there. Um, make sure you include this part. Oh no, it's uh, there. Yeah, just include that part. You don't have to have that part. You can. That's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> obviously the same number. Um, so, yeah, just send stuff there, and uh, I don't know if it's bad to show you that. I don't think so. I don't think it matters. But um, I just told, I mean, that reveals what service I use. But uh, I don't think I care if you know that. Um, but... Um, yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's enough there. Send me something if you want, and I'll open it up in another one of these whenever I get more stuff. As said, I already know that one more package is on the way containing some Amiibos, so think before you send those. Make sure you should probably wait until you see what Jugio, I think it was, sent me. Um, but um, other than that, uh, yeah, just sign whatever <laughs> I'm down for the weird stuff I'm down for anything I mean not too weird don't get don't send me anything that you uh uh <laughs> I 
like it. Just don't go too weird. I think I'll leave it there. That's uh, really all I can say. Uh, anyway, um, that's all there really is to say here. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. And see you in the next one.